Right, just thought I'd do a little bit of an update on the Ozone. Um, we had a chap called Peter come over from Agrozone, the people who manufacture the boxes and operate the systems. Uh, he was very helpful and he's actually taught me how to use it and uh, he's given me the tools to actually start optimising the system, which is good. So, uh, yeah. Also, we've gone through all the uh, issues. I now understand how the screen works, which is good. So this is all worthwhile training. So now if we come in the box, I actually know what we're doing in here. So, air from the compressor comes in here, goes through a series of filters, take out any gunk and moisture. Then over here, these are kind of like, the best way to describe them, are filters that filter out the nitrogen. So then, when it outputs the gas that's left over, it is just oxygen. And a neat thing that Peter showed me on how to check that these are all working nicely, just these are the outlets for the nitrogen. Cover your hand on it. There we go. Gives it a blast off, as if it was blocked. Which is quite an amusing thing to keep doing. But shouldn't play with it like that. As you can see up here, all the uh, valves are now moving along. That one still sticks a little bit, but they do all move. See, come on. Don't show me up on camera. Well, it was moving before I turned the camera on, which is typical. So, we've got a new sampler unit installed as well. So the old one was making a lot of noise. So now we've got this extra, well, he's redone the unit. So this is a more up-to-date version, I believe. So this is all working as it should be. The sampler works by, I'll show you. The sampler, let me just lock the cupboard again. As we go through all these screens, um, no, I need to log in. Yeah. It goes through a cycle of checking each cell, and I believe this is what this, this one up here is doing. So it's going through ID 32 at the minute. So it'll just keep cycling through the different controllers, similar to how Canvas works on your car or your tractor sort of thing. It just sends out a little message just saying, hey, what are you doing? And then the controller sends a message back to the main computer here and says, oh, I'm doing this. It says, ah, oh, cool, thank you, good to know, because you're meant to be doing that. So then, every now and again, it will send out a signal. It goes through in cycle, so it will go through the numbers in order. And it will just say, hey, I'm going to take a sample. And the controller at the other end says, cool, take a sample. So that's where this little unit comes in. This little unit will uh, suck a uh, sample for two minutes, I believe. That will take it from the cold store itself, not from the box, because uh, at the box you're going to get 100%, aren't you? But if you look in the cold store, um, you probably won't see it. Actually, you can. Hold on. Right. If I zoom in, that little pipe hanging down there is our outlet for the ozone. Back here, so at this end, there's a sampler tube, exactly the same size. So, ozone goes in, fans blow everything through the coal store, keeping a convection current going. I, I think sort of convection current is the best way to describe it. So then it will take a sample and say, it will then measure parts per billion. Check the sheets and the settings of what we've set for it, and it will say, Yep, we're on schedule for what it's doing. And also, none of us at the farm knew that we could do this. We have an online login so we can check anywhere, anytime what the system is doing, and it gives us some beautiful little graphs. So, I shall show you some beautiful graphs now, and uh, yeah, that's just the idea of. Um, how we're optimising the system now, because everything's been repaired and that.
so uh, everything works. There's one box um, down the far end which is still broken, but that's because that had some water damage, which is annoying, but never mind. So yeah, everything's been opened up and taken. These filters have been changed, these filters have been changed, you know. This is the service this system needed. So everything works, everything's happy, and it's just working now. We're actually got efficient work out of this now. We are thinking of upgrading from um, a lot of our units down this end of the yard, down the cold store tunnel here. They are 10p machines. Down at the newer end is 5p machines, which almost do a good enough job. So probably in the next year, we're gonna look at upgrading them into 10p machines. So all that means is, um, if you go back in this box for an example, Behind this panel here, probably just see the little shells up. Hang on, I'll get my torch. Right. Behind this panel here, you can see a big coil. I think I said in the last video, that coil has a stupid amount of voltage going through, so don't touch it. In here, you can just see the through the fan. Yeah, you can just see that. There are two coils in there. Each coil produces 5p. So, very simple. It's all to do with the amount it can supply. Shut the box up again. Not very good at holding the camera today. I'm just trying to uh, make this so everybody sees what's going on. So, yeah, one coil is 5p, two coils is 10, 5p each. So, the far end, which are bigger cold stores, are finally going to be upgraded to 10p, which is going to be good. But apart from that, not really much else to say. I'm quite happy. The ozone system works now. All my little balls keep going up and down all day long, as they should be. And the system is communicating, apart from that one because it's dead. That one's not communicating, probably because it's just missed its message, because uh, it has a refresh rate, and sometimes uh, the refresh, depending on how far away you get from the system, does take a little bit longer. So there it goes, it's back on right before your eyes, so that's nothing to worry about. No, that one's dead, got a replacement coming. A couple of these are switched off, that's fine. So, it's all hunky-dory. So, thank you very much for watching. I've been Lewis Eves and this has been Norfolk Fords. So, yeah, AgriZone Ozone, thank you very much for coming out to the UK and servicing our system. So, hopefully now it's going to run a lot smoother and keep the bulbs nice and fresh and uh, hopefully we'll keep a better product up. So, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and like and subscribe. So, yeah, thank you very much, bye-bye.